I don't drink soda. But you have to search the Wayback Machine for like www.askjeeves.com uh, slash query slash what plus yeah. is yeah. plus. And you like want to make sure that is. you're getting, you know, Ask Jeeves era, Ask Jeeves and not Ask.com era. Because yeah. once once Jeeves was taken out of the equation, it was just plummeted uh-huh. downhill. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Uh, hit three, three, two, two, one, one. Yo, thank you for tuning into the Natural Habitat Podcast. My name is Mikey Booya. Uh, my name is Ty. We are joined by Free Candy Up in Canada, the one and only Canadian podcast co-host, as well as Computor, the one and only artificially intelligent podcast co-host. Um, now, the crew is a little light today. You might notice that Satchmo is... I don't want to say no longer with us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's being he's dealing with some hot water, right? Yeah. Like I don't have the full story. This has happened before I got here, but mm. there's there's something going on with Satchmo. Um, we'll probably yeah. get into it. So there was a <clears throat> there was a photo that was released in the wake of this Trump assassination attempt. Uh, of the shooter on the roof. Now, a lot of people saw the shooter on the roof. It was, he's dead, you know? Yeah. He's laying there dead. Yeah. They shot him, he's dead. But this image was from before the death of the shooter and before the shooting of the ear. There was a photo of this shooter, which I have here on the screen now, and I'll go ahead and uh, put on the screen for yeah, you. Yeah, I see the TMZ watermark and all that. Mm-hmm. Now, this image... To the you know to the untrained eye, it, it appears to just be like a man laying on a rooftop, mm-hmm. you know, a, presumably scouting scouting for his shot. But, but if you blow it up and digitally enhance this, mm-hmm. so I mean, I didn't believe this either. Enhance. Now this shows what looks to be a hand puppet. Uh. You know, about six, seven inches tall, mm-hmm. hole in the bottom. Yeah. Uh, horn on his head. He does have a floppy horn on his head, but. Now, the only <sighs> thing that I will say is that Satchmo has this, like, mane behind him. Yeah. Like, almost like a horse's mane. Yeah. And there's no mane on this. I hand also, puppet. I mean, it could just be the camera, um, but I also feel like in that image, the colors don't necessarily match Satchmo, at least how I remember Satchmo. So mm-hmm. I'm not 100% convinced, but I'm convinced enough to where I see the need to distance ourselves from, yeah. from Satchmo for the time being. Because this sorts does this look like out. a hand puppet that is using a human being as a puppet in a way. Yeah. To carry out some sort of nefarious deeds. An assassination attempt, likely. Now, I mean, I'm not going to assume the worst about Satchmo, but, you know, he definitely has some explaining to do. Not to us, but, you know, to the American public and the Secret yeah. Service. Secret and Service, Homeland Security. Donald Trump, I'm Donald sure, Trump. Is, is... Yeah. So, Satchmo is not here today. No. But um, we decided to bring back... A host from the past. We have a you know a big bag of hosts. Is it we can pull is it from. William Waffles? Is William Waffles William here? Waffles is not here. Oh, is Matt here? No, Matt's not here. Matt's actually. not I know here. He's not here. No, but who we do have is, um, I guess. So I ran a poll on X, formerly known as Twitter, to ask you know what's your what host do you miss the most? Who's the hostess with the most this? Besides time. Who's the hostess who's his most missed? Who's, who's the hostess who is most missed? And everybody, you know, all together in unison said. That oh, no. Hey, no, we can't do that. Yeah. It's no. smart play. So. Yeah, I, I know. Wait, no. We don't have any other. Cho- Hold on. Jerry, pause it. We don't have any other choice. I have, I'm making an announcement here. I can't have. I can't have. Him flying off the handle saying he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. We totally gave him the rundown and everything on what he can and can't do, what he can and can't say. And he's only this is gonna be we're only gonna let him talk once. This is gonna this is gonna kill me before I'm even even off to the races. Uh let's see. Here we go. Thanks, faggots. Uh, It's a dude to be back. 
I look forward to providing some comic relief to this. You dry knew this was gonna podcast. happen. You knew this What's was today's topic. That's it. I I told him he had one. He could do it once. I didn't know he was gonna use it right out of the gate. You told you, it is. Now you told him that he could he could make a slur. <laughs> Well, no. Well, I guess in a way, I did. I said that you know. So look, you can you I, can do something horrible. I'm washing my hands of this. I had no part of this. I'm washing my hands. You see me wash. You see me wash. I'm gonna pour some water on my hands. Okay. Well, Dude. look, smart plug. We'll hear some more from you later. I had but, nothing to do with this. I'm, I'm now, sorry, everyone. We're just gonna go ahead and move on with the show and move past the host introductions. We just. You know, there's a lot of podcasts that are just hosted by clean hands, guys. baby. Clean, yeah, hands. clean hands. He was. He actually really wasn't. Involved. No part of this. Uh, there's a lot of podcasts that are just hosted by two guys. You know, we're trying to stand yeah. out of the norm. We have computer. We have. I mean, how many podcasts have a, a Canadian guy that never appears? Yeah, yeah. There's you not know, a that lot. separates us from the pack right there's there. We don't lot. need to overdo it. But twice separated, third separated, this is all good. You know, when you associate yourself with people that, that say things like Smart Plug does, you're limiting your what you can do potentially in the future on a larger platform. I'll just say that. Okay. And you're kind of, you know, you're kind of stabbing me in the back like you have a knife in your hand. <laughs> you're, and, you're right. I'm sorry. I should have thought about you and your future plans and, you know. Uh, not again. Jeopardize uh, your I'm, career with. Uh, I, I had no part in this. I didn't have any part in this though. But um, we actually are here to talk about some exciting news. Ty has an announcement that I'm not aware of, and also speaking of announcements, just today, uh, we got the announcement that Judge Biden, who President of the United States, Judge Biden, yeah, yeah. is. Not running for re-election. He's hanging up his his um, his sash and his bags and his his shoes. Yep. He's hanging up his jersey. Don't know that the jersey is gonna be like retired or anything because he wasn't a good president. Let's be real. You don't think it's gonna you be know, hung he wasn't, in a state. He wasn't a Hall of Fame president, but no, but he really he's was. announced that he's not seeking re-election now because I think the writing was on the wall for the man. Um, he uh-huh. had no chance of beating Trump. So. Uh, today was like a really hectic day where everyone was like, George, Bi- George Biden needs to jump out of the race. He needs to get out of here. And then he said, I'm never going to leave. I'm never going to. Yeah. Leave the and then, race. and then like an hour later, the yeah. announcement she is said, made. You know what? I got COVID and I'm going to leave the race now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of, you know, left, uh, the political climate in disarray uh-huh. as, as the democratic party tries to formulate a plan B, yeah. which you'd think they already have, they would have one, you know, in place, ready and to go smooth transition in the state that Biden's been in during. Yeah. The so how has this not been, how has this not been previously backups. considered? Yeah. But the democratic party is just a complete hot mess uh-huh. and there's no, you know, organization. There's no, there's there's nothing, you know, the the Republican Party they're they're united behind Trump. Like there's there's no candidate as of this moment mm. that the Democratic Party has united behind. You've got Kamala Harris, obviously assuming that she's just going to be handed the nomination on a silver platter. A lot of people don't like Kamala Harris. No, you've got what, what are you going to run Hillary Clinton again? We were just talking about this. Like you, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't run Gavin Newsom. Um, I mean, look at what a disaster California is. You can't, you can't just retread some of these these washed up candidates out there and expect them to be able to to beat Trump. No. You got to bring in fresh blood. Mm-hmm. You got to bring in someone with moxie. <coughs> yeah. You got to bring in someone with gumption. Yeah. And you got to bring in someone with fortuitousness. Mm-hmm. And I, I just don't know. I don't know anybody like that. Now, what year is? The next pre- 25, 26? What do you mean? When's the next presidential election? This year. This year? This 2024? Year. 2024. A new president will be elected, and in 2025, in no- we'll have a November. new president. Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, I think that Joe Biden probably saw that Trump got shot in the ear, was almost assassinated, then he wasn't, then he held his fist up with the blood and the American flag and he was like there's no way I'm going to win. Yeah, he's been he's been I um de- deified, mm-hmm. deified, whatever yeah, the word deified. is. 
And uh, he was like, you know, instead of focusing on running this race that's unwinnable, I might as well just focus on my last few months of presidency and do some uh, cool stuff, skydiving and shit like that. Yeah. So now we're in, uh, dare I say, uncertain times. Yeah. Where we're in kind of a turmoil here uh where it's going to be like a almost like a battle royal type situation where all the potential candidates are yeah. are going to come at each other very fast, very hard cuz it's got to happen quick. You got zero and also five democratic candidates. You got one republican candidate. You have a third party guy that's it, getting the most votes more it, than any other third party. It's a party fucking member. mess. Yes. Yeah, it's wild. And it's all going down in season 2024 of America. Cuz we like to make ourselves the center of stuff. So instead of starting in 1776 or whatever, yeah. we start in exactly year zero. And, and speaking of making yourself the center of stuff, uh-huh. uh, I guess that, that brings me to my announcement here. Oh, yeah, you do. You have an announcement. I have an announcement. As you w- very well may remember, um, you served as my campaign manager uh-huh. in, what was it, 2016? Mm-hmm. Or- Doing it was when the campaign started yeah. for the 2018 Paso Robles mayoral election. Yeah, um, I did not win that, but I did. I did run, and you know, at this point, the way I feel is, why not make this whole thing about me? I mean, America needs someone that they can unite behind. They need young blood. Mm-hmm. They need someone who's going to yeah. shoot their shot oh, and won't yep. miss Trump. Yeah. Whoa, hey, hold on. No, hold I, on. Meant, hold I on. meant I meant, I meant in on. an election. I meant in an election. I shouldn't have put. I shouldn't have no. had a gun in my hand. No. I shouldn't have had a gun in my hand. Jerry, That's not, cut that out for real. I shouldn't have had a gun in my hand. That's not okay. what I'm saying. I'm okay. not going to. Okay. I'm going to shoot my shot. At, but at the more like a basketball. There you go. More like a basketball. There you go. Basketball motion. So, are you announcing your your running for president of the United States? My fellow Americans, I'm announcing my candidacy. God damn it! What happened? My, my fellow Americans, I'm, I'm announcing my candidacy uh, for the nomination uh, for the Democratic Party for the presidential election this year. That is a wrinkly sash, dude. This, you this get that from? it's been it's been tucked away in my. That's from my 2016. This is from 2016. Yes, so you might remember this if you tuned into the Awesome Ties Running for Mayor series at any point. You might remember this sash, uh-huh. and you know I, I kept it because I always knew that there might be a day when I needed this sash, mm-hmm. when I needed it, when my country needed me, needed me to put this sash back on, and I think today is that day. Man, so, you, so you're officially coming out of retirement. I'm coming out of retirement. And I am running for president. Damn. This is the first presidential election where I'm legally old enough. Uh Uh-huh. And, I mean, that's really all I need, right? Yeah. You've got to be 35. What what makes me any less qualified than Trump or any of these other old fucks? Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Um, So, are you running... Uh, as a Democrat, I gotta run as a Democrat because they're the only ones that have, have an a, opening. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Huh. And I mean, independent's not going to win anyway. So no. Yeah. You know, like I don't necessarily agree with the Democrats on a lot of stuff, but there's some stuff. I'm gonna fight for abortion rights. You know, uh, make sure we can get them abortions. I'm also gonna fight for gun rights. A lot of Democrats aren't gonna want to hear that, but you know, hey, I, I beat, uh, I marched to the beat of of my own drummer. Can we get like a drum sound? Uh, Can we have like a drum, drum roll, drum roll beat. Uh, this is a comedy podcast that does not reflect it. actual. Uh, this is all. Hey, 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 hey! What drum is roll. going on here? <laughs> I, I march to the beat of my own drummer. I'm gonna do things okay. my way. I'm gonna do things the Thai way. And if you don't like it. Hey, there's the highway. Okay, well, now that you've officially announced that you're running for president this year for this election. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, very much. Yeah. Yes. So I think that it'd be a good idea. I have some questions for you for a presidential candidate. What is this? What is this like a like a gotcha journalism no, type deal? Are you trying to set no. me up? I didn't easy. agree to a press conference. I mean, a press conference, but not a, like a I know you open, didn't, but we don't this have This isn't a, lot a of town time. hall forum. We don't have time. We don't have time Jesus to Christ. schedule these things. All a right. lot of right. these people have already given their All points. Right. All right. All right. So now this will get your word out there and get your stance and everything. 
and then people will know who they're voting for. So, Ty, what is your plan to address the current economic challenges and ensure sustainable growth for all of America? Bro, we're going to stimulus for everybody. There's going to be two or three stimuli, yeah. stimuli yeah. per, per Fuck, year. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, 2025, January, as soon as I'm sworn in, that first stimmy's dropping. What about UBI? What, what universal basic income? No, he's a rapper from Sess Crew. Ubi. 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 U- Ubi. Ubiquitous? Ubiquitous. I think his name was. Okay. He's, is he getting a stimulus? I mean, does he vote for me? That's going to, I mean, obviously it's going to depend on whether you vote for me. I, I guess I should have prefaced by saying that, but the, you know, everybody that Wait, has yeah, proof on. of. So, yeah. No, I can't do that. I can't, I got to play this straight. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Everyone? Sure, he gets he the stimulus. Okay. He gets the stimulus, yeah. And then what about universal basic income? That is the universal basic income. The stimulus the, that the, you get yeah. a few times a but year. People, you know, like universal basic income, that's going to scare off a lot of conservatives. They're not going to want to hear that. It's going to sound like socialism. Yeah. But you hit them with the stimmy, they're like, yeah, yeah, they're okay. Like, gimme, gimme. Give hit them stimmy, with the stimmy, yeah. they're like, gimme, gimme. It's all about how you package it. Exactly. Right? Um, how do you propose to tackle climate change and trans- transition the country to renewable energy sources? I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to delegate, obviously, like you don't see Joe Biden or Trump out there tackling any issue. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, surround myself with people who are experts in the field yeah, okay. and scientists and people that know about climate change and they're going to advise me. And then I'm going to, you know, push through the legislation that allows them to tackle it while yeah. I tackle you know, all the other stuff. I have a lot on my plate. That's you know what I mean? Idea. It's not, yeah. it's not. Yeah. That is, that's a great idea. Why does nobody do that? Why do they not get the best and the well, brightest? They, they, they do, but they, they surround themselves with yes men or people who are unwilling to cross party aisles and work with the, you know, the other party. So nothing ever gets done. Or they and bring we're in just generational in people. I'm going to surround myself with, you know, like all different types of voices and opinions. Okay. I like that. Um, what are your top priorities for healthcare reform and how do you plan to make healthcare more accessible and affordable? We're going to um we're going to do it's going to be like a you know everybody gets healthcare. Okay. I unless like they don't want everybody to get healthcare, then they can pay for it themselves. Wait. So you've got you've got a lot of typically conservatives, and I guess I do have to kind of go after the conservatives since I am running as a Democrat. They 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 you know they oppose universal health care. That's mm. fine. They can, they can pay they can pay fucking Blue Shield every month. They can go right on, you know, doing what they're doing. So optional health care. Yes. That is yeah. Free. Yeah. If you if you want free health care, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, it's probably not gonna be as good, but you're not paying for it. You're not paying for it. So, I mean, you got to, you know, everything has its its ups and downs. Okay. So, you want the free health care. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be like Netflix with ads. So, it's, it's like, not going to be, you know, yeah, like, it's like straight to it. You can get it. a free lunch at school. Yeah. But it's not going to be good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so, you don't get to pick what it is. Yeah. And you might be able to see a doctor, but you so might have also to. So, also a thing like if you get free health care and say if you break your leg, but your health care that you're getting today is for head stuff. Yeah. And, and also like kind of going back to the Netflix with ads um, comparison, you may have to sit through like some advertising while you're waiting to see a doctor and that's going to, you know, help. That's going yeah. to help pay for it. You might have to watch some ads you don't want to see. And you're welcome to, you know, pay that money, that premium, insurance premium, and skip those ads. But if you want the free stuff, then, I mean, so it's the YouTube <coughs> business model. Uh, so, like, I just imagine I have free health care. I go to the hospital. I'm bleeding out. <coughs> <coughs> Coughing. <coughs> but I have to watch... Like a 30-minute infomercial? Not necessarily for, first. For butter? I mean, they're still going to treat you just like any emergency r- room would. Oh, yeah, because they're not allowed to ask about but, insurance. But once, yeah, exactly. Once they find out that you don't have that premium insurance, they're going to make you watch some ads. And I think that's reasonable. You're going to be laid up there, you know, in a hospital bed for some time anyways. Yeah. Why? I mean, what's wrong with you having to sit through a couple Allstate insurance commercials okay. or something like that? So you're teaming up with big data. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Big data's on board. Uh, Can you outline your approach to immigration policy and how you intend to balance border security with humanitarian concerns? 
I mean, the, you know, the Democrats aren't going to like to hear this, but we can't just let everyone through. You know what I mean? Like we're getting it's getting a little crazy at the borders. And, I, you know, like like most reasonable politicians, I think there should be a path to citizenship, but it's not hopping a fence. It's not sneaking through a gate. You know what I mean? It's you got to do things the right way. Um, so <clears throat> like fly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can get on a plane and get into the country legally, what you do from there is any of my business, right? Yeah. So, you know, you get yourself a passport, you fly over here as a vacationer, maybe maybe you decide not to go back. That's really not my problem anymore. Yeah, you're here. All right. Um, what measures will you take to improve the education system and ensure quality education for all children, regardless of their background? Um, you know, maybe pay teachers a little bit more, obviously, like the salary for your typical elementary school teacher or public school teacher isn't really high enough to incentivize a lot of people to seek that as a profession. So mm -hmm. in order to get some of the brighter minds to go into the teaching profession and teach these children, we got to pay them a little bit more. Yeah. And I feel like, uh, the younger the kids are that they're teaching, the less they get paid. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard somewhere, I don't know if this is true, that high school teachers get paid for summer vacation, but anything underneath, like uh, like middle school and below, you yep. don't get paid for summer vacation. You have to get a second job. And you figure that those are the ones you should be paying the most because those are the most important, like, developmental times of a child's life. Sure. And, I mean, like, there's a, there's a floor for what we pay – uh, police officers mm -hmm. and firefighters and other, you know, civil servants. Why is there no floor for what we can pay teachers? Like, why should teachers have to suffer for a lower wage when they? Okay. So yeah, we're gonna pay our teachers more. <clears throat> um, how do you plan to address the increasing national debt? Um, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave that for the next guy. To be perfectly honest, okay. We're yeah. just we're gonna rack up that debt. I'll be perfectly honest with you about that. We're gonna rack up that debt. But we're gonna leave America in a better place to you know figure that out later once I leave office. Okay. In yeah. Potentially eight years. Leave it better than how you found it. It'll be easier for us to deal with that debt. Yeah. I mean, really. I mean, how much? How many more years does Earth even have? We can just keep. We can just keep pushing that debt a little bit further. Yeah. What do we owe China or something? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, where are they gonna send somebody over here to collect us and shake us down? Like, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. So we'll and just we're keep. Really, we're just like a speck in the Milky Way galaxy, which is a speck in our part of the universe. Yeah. And I mean, like, so it doesn't matter. The debt sure, doesn't matter. Sure. Sure. We owe China money, but like, China owes us a debt of gratitude for all the stuff that we've invented and all the technology we've given them to, mm -hmm. to reverse engineer and steal from us. So, yeah. like, they can wait. They can wait on their money. Yeah. If you ever go to China and you have a hamburger, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're Electricity. Welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Ben Franklin, you're welcome. Um, <clears throat> what are your views on criminal justice reform? And how do you plan to reduce systemic inequalities in the justice system? We're going to stop disproportionately convicting you know, minorities and really focus and own in on the, the violent criminals and the, the you know, predators and that sort of thing. Obviously, the war on drugs has been a failure for, for years now. So we're just going to continue to move away from drug-related convictions and really focus on, you know, the violent crimes and the, you know, predators and, and that sort of thing. Okay. That we're going to kind of dismantle the um, prison industrial system. I don't think that prisons really need to be a for-profit business. And, I mean, they're already out there. But, you know, if they go belly up, like, what do I care? Like, fuck those prisons. Yeah, prisons are privatized, and I don't think that's right anyway. I don't think that uh, people should rely on other people oh my prison's gonna go out of business because you didn't convict enough black people yeah yeah deal with it yeah deal with it warden uh how will you work to strengthen the united states relationship with its allies and address international conflicts and diplomacy uh, see this is another thing that you know probably a lot of democrats are going to disagree with me on but i don't really care too much about strengthening ties with our allies because 
what do our allies really do for us? Honestly, like, why do we have to keep protecting Ukraine and fucking Israel? And pretty soon Canada is going to want something yeah. from us. I feel like if you, you got, if you take your eight years off, they're going to suck our dicks either way. You know, um, a wise man once said, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for one day. If you teach a man to fish, he's going to eat for the rest of his life. And that's what we can do for our allies is teach them our ways so that they can function, you know, in a uh, successful democracy like we've been doing since, you know, we our inception. Mm-hmm. Um, and then last one, how do you plan to support and promote technological innovation and ensure the United States remains competitive in the global tech industry? Well, I'm going to be relying heavily on AI. I mean, you, you know, anyone yeah, that watches yeah. this show obviously knows that about me already, but there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm just not informed on, and I don't trust everybody that's in my ear. So I'm going to be relying on ChatGPT, a lot of these AI um a lot of these AI speech models that to give me, you know, mm-hmm. insight. And I think by doing that, we're going to take some of the um conniving out of politics, you know what I mean? Like the self-interest out of politics because AI, I mean, AI has no political influence typically. No. So, and uh, now that Apple Intelligence is right around yeah, the corner. Yeah, we're, I'm going to have the, the Apple Intelligence update by October. So, I mean, that's going to, you know, before even election time, I'm going to have access to that. That's going to make me, you know, a lot more technologically savvy. And yep. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna let the tech flow. Okay. Well, I think that that is actually a great platform. I think that was solid. Yeah, hearing everything laid out like that—that's someone that I would vote for, and hopefully, someone that you would vote for too. So, uh, you should definitely go back, watch Awesome Ties Running for Mayor. Season two is better than season one, but season one is good. I suggest you watch season two. Ap- appreciate it. And then once you get the feel of the show and what's going on, go back to season one, witness the roots. And also know that, you know, like I'm wiser now, mm-hmm. I'm richer now, yeah. I'm, I'm more muscular now. Uh-huh. I mean, just like all around better person now than I was several years. I'm a little bit more fat now, but I mean, that's, you know, so is Trump. Yeah. You can't, you can't judge me based on my, my physical fitness, but my mm-hmm. mental aptitude yeah. is, you know, through the roof. Sharp, much sharper than Biden. So definitely check those out and just kind of keep that in mind. Now, I'm not exactly sure. You know, this is all moving so fast. This just happened today. I'm not sure the exact um, process of, you know, like what my path to the official nomination is. But we're going to look into that. We're going to do everything on our part. If nothing else, you can always write me in. You You know know what? We have have that guy uh, that does the ballots that you and I both know. He like hangs out around our local Target. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The petition stuff. guy. The petition yeah, guy. That's yeah, sure. the petitions. Get this because we'll I think get him that's on what board. we need. Yep, yep. We need signatures. He'll know what we need. He'll know how many signatures. We, we need. gotta move fast. So what I'm gonna um you know ask everybody here to do is to reach out to your local congressman. I mean your local government. I don't know who senator. Start sounding off in you know in the comments of other politicians and let them know that the candidate that you support for the Democrat presidential nomination is Ty. Yeah. Awesome Ty. Uh, and also, if you're in Canada, which I know we have a lot of listeners in Canada, then you guys can pick a state, you know? Yeah, or what I'm thinking is like kind of like how Russia played a role in Trump getting elected yeah. the first time. You pick a state, you, guys, you call, you say, hey, I'm from this state, I want a, I want Awesome Ty. Yeah, you get, some, you get some bots cooking, Plant you know, like seat. even if it's not necessarily like moral what you're doing, mm-hmm. there's ways for our Canadian brethren to... I mean, I did just say I'm not going to be really helping them much, but I think it's, I'm, you know, me being elected is still in the, the best interest of the Canadian citizens. So yeah. if you're up in Canada, maybe even Mexico, you know, try to get that ball rolling on your part. See what you can do to help me out and get me mm-hmm. in there. Yep. Um, and I think that you could definitely do it. You could, you could pull that vote in because people are scrambling. Right you know, now. I mean, like know where to vote. It comes crashing down and it hurts inside and I got to be a man. I can't run and hide. Because I'm a real American. And you hurt my friends. You hurt my pride. I got to take a stand. I can't let it slide. I'm a real American. Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just looking something up. Are you looking up Lana Del Rey? 
Uh, Lana Del Rey would make a banging first lady. <laughs> no, no, no. Were you singing the Hulk Hogan theme song? Uh, it's it's a Rick Derringer song. Oh, okay. By R- Rick Derringer of rock and roll hoochie coo fame. I mean, did Hulk Hogan use it for a number of years throughout his wrestling career? Sure. But Hulk Hogan didn't pen it. Those are Rick Derringer's words, not Hulk Hogan's. I'm not going to quote Hulk Hogan. We we saw what Hulk Hogan has to say about yeah, the election. Yeah, well, you don't want to quote Hulk Hogan. Come in and ruin your political career on day one. Uh, so, yeah, now that I know your announcement, I'm so sorry about the smart plugs. Yeah, well, dude, actually, completely sorry. fucked me over. I, I Again, I'm I, so I, sorry. I'm smart so sorry. plug, I I, no he idea. has no part of this campaign, and, you know, I'm I'm kind of... I mean, I guess sometimes when you're on like a news platform, you have to share the stage with some people whose ideologies don't necessarily match yours. But I just want to say that Smart Plug is in no way affiliated with my campaign yeah. um, whatsoever, and I do not stand by the hateful sp- the hateful rhetoric that he spews. Yeah, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Smart Plug can go campaign for my Thank you all my for opponent. Me to speak no, again. stop. 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 Smart Plug. Stop. All right, this is this is finished. All right, this is finished. We'll see you next week. Natural habitat recording.